Welcome to the free monthly tarot scopes. Be sure to check your rising and moon for more details and visit VickiVerly.com for personal readings, decks, books, t-shirts, art, and more. Thank you for all your continued support, including donating, liking, commenting, sharing. Now without further ado, on to your free reading. Hi everyone, Vicki Verley here. For those of you not familiar, that intro was in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, so I thought that that would be more befitting the Rock and Roll Prophetess. I want to talk, do a few announcements so I don't have to keep repeating myself in the readings because there's so much to talk about in the readings. We have Jupiter going into Scorpio on 1010, which is a magical number. And the first thing I want to just note that this month on my Lots of Love reading that focused specifically on Love on Vimeo, this is the uh, Morgan Greer tarot deck. We'll be using the good old uh, Morgan Greer, this backing. You can hardly see it. And then, of course, the Lots of Love, which also blend into my cloth here. Uh, but the other thing is I'm going to incorporate some astrology bonus into that one, too. Talk about Jupiter. And then also Venus and Mars is traveling together, so I'll be talking about that in all the love readings this month. Uh, another new announcement, I've started the Amazon tea shop and I wanted to just show you a couple of the t-shirts. I ordered a few just to see what the print quality is and it's very, very nice print quality. Now this is your standard like silk screen type of t-shirt. I wasn't concerned about this but I did want to order a few of these different color ones to see how they would turn out and I'll tell you I'm very happy with how the color turned out. Um, I, there's a few of the tarot cards. I ordered one of the moon and then I ordered uh, one of the star in purple. And the color is perfect and great. You know, sometimes on t-shirt, these types of designs aren't going to really turn out. And then lastly, of course, this was the one I was really worried about, is the uh, Divine Goddess. And it turned out beautiful. The colors are just beautiful. The sizes run a little small, so if you're going to order and you like them loose like I do, you may want to order a size up. Uh, they come in a variety of colors. Um, I'm have, there's a process, so I'm adding them slowly. Right now I only have Libra. I have the Zodiac ones up, just Libra. And I'll be getting all 12 zodiac, zodiac signs up, and I'll be adding T-shirts all the time. But I just wanted to, you know, show you. I was so happy with the quality. Look at how great the color just really turned out. Beautiful. So if you're interested, it's another way to help support the free readings on these channels. Um, I, if you, you're not in the U.S., unfortunately, Amazon won't ship to you, but you can do a shipping forwarding company such as MyUS.com, but I don't necessarily recommend that one. Okay, now that all the announcements are out of the way, let's get on to the readings. Hello there, Taurus. Thanks for joining me for the monthly tarot scope with animal totems. Uh, let's see, Taurus, seventh house. Oh, this would be a good time to check out your lots of love reading. Because Jupiter is going to be going into your seventh house this month. And it's going to stand in there for a year. So... Seventh house is relationships. That's going to be the area of focus for this upcoming year, especially if you're Taurus rising, okay? Uh, let me get some cards out here, and we're going to talk about it more. Now, the seventh house is more about, um, like, long-term relationships, like marriage partnerships and things like that. It's not really just flings or, like, Tinder hookups or things like that. It's actually your relationship or your marriage, you know? We need a few more cards for Taurus. Mm. I just heard it's time to get back in the game. So for some of you, you may have been kind of out of circulation for a while, and it's time to get back in the game. Um, you have Star in Reverse as the very first card out. So Star is always there trying to help you. When Star is in Reverse, it's like you, maybe you're not listening to it, or you've turned away from it. Um, but there's definitely some help for you. Spirits and angels are coming in. They're trying to help you. They're bringing this person into your life, and it feels kind of more financial because um, it looks like there is this looks like there is some new money coming for you or a new job or something. Um, but this person definitely has something to do with it. Now they're a fire sign. They may be a fire sign. That could be a Leo, an Aries, or a Sag. And they're not necessarily a woman. It's anybody in these general readings. Um, that black cat really stood out to me. So maybe it's Halloween time. Um, but it could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag, or by a fire time uh, sign event. Now, we are going to have a fire sign event this month. We are having a full moon in Aries on the 5th. So something could be popping up around the full moon in Aries. 
Um, many of you have stayed in jobs that you hate. This is doing work that you really hate to do. That you just do it for money. You don't get any satisfaction out of it. It's nothing that you uh, enjoy or relish in. It's just something you have to do for money. And I think that's what Star's trying to tell you. It's like, look, you don't have to stay in that. There's a new opportunity showing up for you. And maybe around that time of that moon, I think, too. Um, you've been hanging in there. You've been. It feels like you've been waiting for the time to be right. You know, strength is about hanging in there, having patience, and the hangman is 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 the same thing. It's a waiting card, but it's in reverse. So it's like the waiting time is over. Okay, you've waited, you've thought about it, you've paused, you reflected long enough. Now it's time to get back in there. Now it's time to take some action, and it also. Um, is sort of like a Jupiter, not in this particular deck, but sometimes it's a sign of Jupiter with his legs there. So it's talking about now that Jupiter's moved into your seventh house, it's time to enter into a partnership too. Seventh house is not just your romantic partnership. It's a, a long-term partnership and it could be a financial one, absolutely. A business partner, absolutely seventh house rules that. Um, stop trying to do everything yourself if that's the case. Stop, 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 stop struggling. There's definitely somebody coming in that wants to help. Star has brought them into you, um, and for some reason you seem to be um, having some, you know, you're relating it to something in the past. You're looking at the past spilled cups. Well, I had a business partnership before, it didn't work out, or oh, I've been married before and it didn't work out. That Stop applying the past, because it's, this isn't going to be the same thing. This is going to be something different. And let that past go, freedom from bondage. Or this freedom from bondage could also apply to you letting go of that job that you hate. You know, if there's a job that you really hate, it's time to let that go. And that could be what you're being freed from in, as far as freedom from bondage. Strength can mean to have strength and have patience, but I feel in this case that it's really talking about... Strength is talking about, like, um, this is going to be something really solid that this thing is going to be strong and lasting and fortitude. You know, I'm hearing the word fortitude. Like it's really going to be um, something that's a strong alliance. That's another thing that comes to mind. A strong alliance. Um, a strong foundation for you. Uh, this is very, very favorable and there's no reason that you should shy away or back away from it. Um, Ace of Pentacles. So Tauruses are always interested in their financial standings. There's definitely a chance for some new money coming in um, this month. Um, I'm not getting any specific time frames, but I do feel kind of close to that full moon. I feel like that full moon's going to definitely reveal something to you. And again, that's going to be on October 5th. Um, as far as dates with these partnerships, now we have the 10th, 1010, Jupiter goes into your seventh house. So there's the first activation of your partnership house. Let me pull this, my, my excellent graphic out here. <laughs> I wasn't planning on showing it, but I've shown it in a few readings. This is just how I did, you know, scribble down a quick chart to get an idea of what's going on. So here, Jupiter goes in, here's you. This is your first house, this is your seventh house. Jupiter goes in the seventh house on 1010. So that's the first activation of your partnership house. Um, the 23rd, the sun goes in there as well. The 26th, the sun conjuncts Jupiter. So the 26th could be a very much a key day, too, for you. For some of you, it could be a financial partnership. That could, that's a distinct possibility for many of you. You know, this 15 also on the, the, the um, devil is showing up. Is it 15 or is it 51? You know, so 51, is that something to somebody? Um, is that your age? Is that the year you were born? Um, is that the salary that you're asking for? You know, uh, what is it? You know, what is 51? Um, is that the street that it's on? You know, is it 51? Is it 51% of something? Is that, so you want to, that could be, if you want to maintain control <laughs> like Tauruses do, maybe you could say, well, we'll have a business partnership, but it's going to be, I'm, I have 51% and you have 49%. <laughs> Or if you want to bring somebody in, you know, to an existing business that you've been really working on. Here's the thing. If this is an existing business that you've been really working on, it might be that, th that there's part of it, like me, there's part of it that I really love. I love doing the creating and the readings are okay. But when it comes to, you know, 
computer work or math or filling out forms to upload videos you know I hate that part of it so that could be like there, there's a part of it that you really love but then there's a part of it that you just hate doing well maybe this other person would love doing that part maybe they're very you know the, the things that you don't want to do is exactly where their strong suit is or the, you know so it, it would be a good balance you could benefit greatly from this Jupiter uh, in your seventh through partnerships this month absolutely all right let's go ahead and get over here and look at your animal totem for um, our Taurus friends for um, October Taurus, 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 the rat, hmm, I think that's more you, and then I had some people complain about, who have pet rats, that everything I said was negative, but everything I've encountered with rats has been negative, um, but that might be what you're saying, well, I had, I had a partner before, and it would turn out to be a rat, and this and that, uh, sneaking, slinking, hiding, stealing, you may have you had a partner that stole from you, Fear, lack, hoarding, squalor. So fear and lack and hoarding. Like I, I'll do everything myself and then I don't have to, you know. You can't do everything yourself. Not what you put in the seventh. You're going to find helpers are going to show up that are going to be great for you. Surviving in harsh environments. Release what no longer serves you. Release, yeah. Um, I feel like if you need help, this is the time to ask for it. You're not going to turn up with a rat. You're going to turn up with a black cat that's going to eat that rat. <laughs> That black cat is really standing out to me. Well, when I think of black cat, I think of magic, because that's my black cat, magic. Huh? That's Mr. Madge over here, huh? So maybe magic's going to happen. And black cats and magic and Halloween are always thought of, you know, they're always part of the same deal anyway, right? <laughs> it's always part of the same... Uh, some people think of black cats, they think of, you know, Halloween magic and stuff like that. Maybe it's the black cat is telling me Halloween. Maybe it's going to be around Halloween this person will show up. Because Jupiter's going to be in there for a year. You know, we're not in any hurry. And, and, and your seventh house cusp may not even be um, zero degrees. It's highly likely that it isn't, okay? If you're a Taurus rising, it's probably, it, takes, it might take a little while for it to actually get in that seventh house for you. So um, if it... With the seventh house, so the the astrology reading should be. I mean, the lots of love reading should be real interesting for you too. I, I would advise that you do check it out because Jupiter is going in your seventh house uh, this month, you know, this for the year. You know, and I, I do I do talk about Jupiter and I talk about Venus and Mars also in the uh, the lots of love readings for everybody this month. Okay, Tauruses. So thank you so much for liking and sharing and commenting and everything that you've done to help support the channel thus far, including buying stuff, I mean, that does help, and donating, because um, the YouTube earnings are way down for everybody, they just are, and um, so in order to make this viable, to keep doing the free readings, I, I count on your support, and you, so far you guys have been great, and I hope that I can count, count on your continued support into the future. Um, remember that you are love and beauty incarnate. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, everything that you do. Have a great month of October, and I'll speak to you soon.